We proposed SpecTrans, a versatile material classification for interaction with a great diversity of materials, from common opaque materials, either diffuse or specular, to challenging textureless and transparent surfaces. SpecTrans enables new types of interaction with physical objects through a real-time and robust material sensing technique that is suitable for ubiquitous and mobile computing. It extends current low-power, high-speed optical sensors with a new set of capabilities that allow parallel tracking and identification. The proposed technique extracts optical features by employing laser and multi-directional, multi-spectral LED illumination that leverages the material's optical properties. The sensor hardware is small in size, and it is ideal for ubiquitous computing thanks to a classification method with significantly lower computational cost than conventional image-based methods that use texture features or reflectance analysis. SpecTrans has 26 different lighting conditions with LEDs in five different wavelengths and four locations, which enables classification of highly specular or even transparent surfaces. SpecTrans captures 416 features with 104 lighting conditions in less than 120 milliseconds. Our evaluation of the sensing technique for nine different transparent materials, including air, shows a promising recognition rate of 99%. The material properties of a surface affect how it reflects light. Such material characteristics can be described by a bidirectional reflectance distribution function. A matte painted surface, for example, has a relatively flat distribution for its reflected light intensity, with its diffusive characteristics as shown in the top row. A specular surface, on the other hand, like polished metal, has a peaky distribution for reflected light intensity pattern that is closer to an ideal mirror, as shown in the bottom row. These reflection characteristics also differ based on the light's wavelength. We take advantage of these characteristics for the classification of different materials by placing LEDs of five different wavelengths at four different locations. Another laser source is added and switched with LEDs rapidly. We can encode imperceptible IDs to transparent objects. The ability to identify transparent materials allows us to avoid obtrusive RFID tags or barcodes. The unique characteristics of SpecTrans enable various applications that are not possible with conventional sensors. Here, we highlight some of the applications. This transparent showcase is made of six different materials on each side. By placing a smartphone equipped with our sensor on one of the six sides of the cube and hitting a Detect button on the screen, it triggers different annotations. This example shows a model of right flyer in the showcase. By scanning the frontal face of the showcase, the screen displays the old footage of plane flying towards the user. When the user scans the right face of the showcase, where the propeller of the plane attracts more attention, an animation explaining how the engine and propeller work will be played. Finally, when the user scans the top of the showcase, a top view blueprint of the airplane appears on the screen. We can also use SpecTrans to bring interactivity for large transparent surfaces, such as windshields or shopping windows. Here, a glass wall has been enhanced with three transparent control surfaces that are made of different transparent materials. Each surface is associated with different controls, pan, rotate, and zoom. By embedding SpecTrans sensor in a smartphone, we can create a smart home button that changes behavior based on the user context. When a user is controlling a phone with bare hands, it shows a normal home screen and address book. However, when a user is wearing a glove, a set of large icons that are used more frequently will show up for easier navigation. All these user contexts are detected by the material sensor automatically. Another application is to enable faster switching of viewports in 3D CAD software. Each viewport subwindow is associated with an area on the mouse pad. Similarly, we can use SpecTrans to control multiple virtual desktop windows. SpecTrans can also be used to enhance conventional interactive screens, like a tablet device. In this example, a salesperson is preparing a quotation in a business meeting. The salesperson can see both the cost and other information, such as how many stocks left in the warehouse. When the salesperson shows the quote to a customer, he removes the transparent cover of the tablet. As soon as the cover is removed, the costs will disappear and the customer can only see the items and the total sum. Like this, we can add a transparent but physical layer to interactive screens. We showed a small set of applications in this video that utilizes SpecTrans sensor's ability to recognize transparent materials at 99% recognition rate. For more details, 
please refer to our paper.